reasons that lead to paper rejection? I think there are various ones. There's no single factor. Uh, it could be anything from an author submitting to the wrong journal because the paper doesn't fit with the aims and scopes um, of the journal. It could be because the paper has been poorly written and um, an editor feels that actually it's quite difficult to make sense of the paper, um, in which case the, the, the advice to the author there is to go and get the paper written um, much more professionally. Um, it could be because um, on a first scan of the paper there's not enough, um, let's say if it's a, if it's a survey of um, participants, there's not, the, there's not enough participants in the survey to make the study um, sound enough or to make the conclusions. Um, it could be the methodology being unsound therefore. Um, and it could be um, in a time when journals are tight for um, page budgets for example or they've got an, an, or the impact factor constraint is there they just feel that the um, paper doesn't have the right priority so there are different models of, of, of journals now in an increasingly electronic online world where uh, it's the, 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 the criteria for rejecting a paper are not just based on um, whether the journal's got enough space or not because that's less of an issue really it's about whether the methodology is sound and I think primarily and fundamentally the main reason why a paper is rejected is because the science is not sufficiently sound Absolutely and I think uh, in my conversations with a lot of other people they've said if the paper is good and the science is good then there are no major reasons for paper to get rejected so researchers need to just really focus on making sure the science is good and it can be reproduced and um, it doesn't have major loopholes mm. um, in the way the science is conducted. Yeah, and I think journals can help with that actually. So there are uh, protocols and policies that journals should have in place to make sure that authors adhere to those so that when their paper comes to the journal, it is compliant with, say, the, the latest guidelines from the Equator Network, for example, on how a trial should be conducted or how a, a case should be reported. Um, there are the data policies, that was something that came up at the conference today, um, that a journal has the data policies there for authors to know what they should be providing to the journal before they submit. So I think journals have a role to make sure that by the time a paper's got to the journal, and assuming an author has followed the guidelines that the journal publishes, and the journal publishes the guidelines for good reasons, then that does increase the author's chances of having the paper looked at and given a good hearing.